Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of my Let's Play Survival Series. In the last episode, we built this uh, wonderful dam that we are currently on top of. Let me just pop out of my... Oh, jeez. Yeah, with the sunset in the back, it's pretty, uh, pretty fantastic. Um, yep, so we're on this, uh, this beautiful dam. Just look at the, look at the views we've got in this area. Anyway, sorry, keep getting distracted. We built this, uh, wonderful dam. We got that zombie farm back there and we started collecting all the dyes. And the only one that I was struggling to get last time was a cyan dye. I was able to get that. This guy right here. Uh, um, don't know. Don't know where he's at for sure. But I'm just gonna sleep the sleep the night away. I haven't slept for. Okay, let's see. He gave me some green dye. I should probably get some sea pickles from him. Bah, it'll be okay. Then I also may have bought a couple of cacti from him as well. Anyway. So we got all these dyes. Um, I'm probably just going to run right over there and get those. Um, yeah. So in the last episode, like I said, we built that dam. I uh, got the zombie farm. And when I started using the zombie farm towards the end of the episode, it was uh, incredibly slow. I don't know if that's just how slow they're supposed to be because I went through and did some uh, major lighting up of all the caves beneath uh, that part of my base kind of back over there um, by the mill and it, it really wasn't running any faster so I don't know um, what else I could do to uh, make it better but while I was clearing stuff out I did find a skeleton spawner which is very close to the dam like literally just right at the like the original riverbed just down below and then a spider spawner as well as well and i think it's a it's an actual spider spawner not a cave spider spawner and i'm in my head again um but yeah well i've got you guys here right now let me just fly around oh oh no oh no i should be all right Because what I can do is I can go oh to each one of these. Alright, this is the first sheet. We go Oh, oh god. Oh no. This is a mess. I, I obviously have not planned the uh, the beginning of this episode. So. Great day. That's a mess. Some potential. So another light blue sheep so now all we need to get all these sheep actually being sheared is a whole lot of shears uh, all right i found our horsepower or uh, llama power for the cart i can walk in the straight line hopefully we squeeze through Oop. Okay, we're gonna go one, there, one, there. Excellent. Yes, you guys are great. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do today is get that skeleton farm done. So let me just show you guys where exactly that is because it is surprisingly close. Got my three little torches down here and uh yeah this is literally it yep literally just right here now i have some goodies i need to grab water because that's one of the things i need nope i want to make the skeleton farm and uh i'll check back in with you guys after i have it built so i finished the skeleton farm would you guys like to see it This is uh this is the entrance to the skeleton. Just decided to make it look like a little little cave. Got tucked back in here. And uh yeah. I think it turned out pretty good. What do you guys think?
So I uh, got a goal like new farm set up. Now it's a little loud, but it is necessary. We're gonna go until we run out of uh, phone mail, and I'll let you know how much we get. Uh, that was uh, all of like 30 seconds, maybe. And we started with none, besides the ones that I just had to put around here, and ended up with five and the better part of six stacks. I'll take it. All right, I'm going to get started putting uh, some actual life into this uh, giant riverbed. So we'll see where we go. Uh, let's see, we got a lot of mud. I accidentally made some mud, or not mud. I accidentally made some mud bricks. Read, read to the freaking thing, Gage, come on. <clears throat> got some of this to make some rocks. Got some gravel. Packed mud, a little bit of sand, and some dirt. But our main focus is going to be this packed mud, the mud, these muddy mangrove roots. And then we'll be having some little mossy patches kind of along the edges and stuff. But yeah, I'm curious to see how this comes out. Uh, just as much as you guys are, I'm sure. Um, I've kind of thrown some little gradients and stuff around in a creative world. And this is how I kind of came up with my idea. But in the meantime, you guys should think about uh, what exactly I should build here. Because obviously we can't just have a uh, farm just sitting out in the open. Got to build something around it. So I'm going to get going with this and uh, hope you guys enjoy the little time lapse. Well, I would say that uh, this is looking pretty good so far. I've uh, kind of started on the little cliffs that I'm going to put in here. Um, and then we're going to have a little waterfall come through there. Um, yeah, I feel like this has turned out pretty good so far. Let's just uh, take a little fly through. Show you guys what it's looking like without any sort of like foliage or any, uh, any water in here. Obviously, there's going to be water in here. Um, but, yeah. I feel like that is looking, uh, looking pretty freaking sweet. So I'm going to start working on these cliffs. Um, I can give you guys a little breakdown of what I'm thinking. How it's going to go real quick. Really, it's going to be just like those little cliffs that are back behind my uh, storage barn. So, grab some of these. And we'll just do, we'll just do this little bit together. Let's get everything in my inventory the way I need it. There we go. Good enough. And I actually used all the tough that I'm gonna need. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry about doing that anymore. Shoot, throw the tough in there. Okay. All right. All right. Now we're back. We're back. Cool. So. Here, I'll just break this and then I'll figure out 
if I'm going to make this like a full on like barrier or if I'm gonna extend the cliffs over here just a little further. I might do that, but I really like the idea of having like some, a little walkway going up here to uh, whatever we end up putting right here. And then obviously we'll have a little bridge that walks across over there. But anyway, anyway, sorry, I keep, I keep stalling. So I'm just gonna go through here, fill this in. It's primarily cobblestone. So that makes it easy as far as the uh, build palette goes. Um, but it does add a little bit of complexity here and there. I'm just gonna build it all up to here to start. Cause I don't. Yeah, I think we still got a few more. Okay. So now that we're here, it is all flat. So probably going to, let's see, should we go? Go in, have a hanging over. I feel like it's got to hang over a little bit. It's gonna make you feel just that much more immersed into it. We're gonna leave this one flat. Okay, so. There we go. Those three. That one's gonna be there anyway, that's fine. Um, over there. That one up, and then we'll hang two over there. We still gotta go up a little further. Obviously, covering that up. Um, Help us kind of reduce the amount of blocks and everything that we're going to need as well. All right, so now we are to the ground level and we'll just do pretty simple. Bring that out and then Like that's looking pretty good and then i'll come in here and add in some slabs and whatnot as well but since we have this moss it will be best to awesome Little bit like that. I feel like service well to throw some. Yeah, just a little bit like that. And then we can even just drop that one down. Just to add a little bit more. And maybe we'll bring that one up there as well. And let's see where we are here. Boom. Yeah, so that way it's all kind of connected. We come in, add some glow lichen, some vines, um, grab some slabs might have some of those uh, let's see do i have my yes This is kind of, oh, it still looks like it's supported a little bit. Throw another one over there. Yeah, then we'll go there. We have our last stair. Awesome. That's looking pretty good. Nothing like too crazy, just kind of 
getting some extra details in here and there where we can. And uh, yeah, just add a bunch of uh, bunch of character and stuff to this build that is otherwise uh, gonna look okay. I think here we'll come out. Grab some cobblestone. supplies I feel like that's looking like some good cliffs. So I'm going to get back to doing this. Throw a little time lapse in here for you guys, and we will be on our way with uh, really terraforming out this area. Hope you do enjoy. Now that we've gotten done with this first little bit, I think we'll be working on this uh, this side now, but I will head this way and just kind of walk with you guys as we take a look at how it's looking. So I've been trying to eliminate as much of the torch spam as possible. Even after we get all the water in here, ideally I, I'd like to avoid having drown spawn. Um, so I've been kind of laying some lichen throughout the whole area. And uh, yeah, I think overall it's looking pretty good. This is even at night too, or I guess it's kind of just storming, but it's still the evening. But let me just take you guys on a quick little, little peek in through here. Yeah. yeah, all the way back to where our, our waterfall is. And I think it's, uh, it's turning out pretty good so far. Once we get this side done as well, uh, I think it'll just add to it. Um, definitely going to I thought about it I wasn't gonna add rocks for a minute and then I decided no, nah, I just really need to it just adds a little bit of extra extra like base here at the bottom um, and then just some extra bits that like realistically these cliffs have obviously eroded away so there would be little bits of stone stuff kind of scattered throughout here all the way to the river and even into the river at some point so yeah I'm gonna start working on this side and I uh, hope you guys enjoy this little extra time lapse as well.
Okay, so I think that uh, we are just about to wrap up on everything that I was hoping to get done with today. Um, wow, we got a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of glow like in here. Anyways, um, we got some actual water flowing through here. We got the river all terraformed. We got some cliffs put up. And then we got these big cliffs as well. Let me just pop them off. Okay. Um, just got these set up. We'll get the little road fully set up through here going. Already kind of going into there. But then it'll wrap all the way back around. Probably have a little footbridge right here. Make some little buildings here to put this farm and maybe some other smaller ones. Um, got some big builds coming up there and there-ish. And uh, yeah, I mean, I think this place is really coming together well. So with all that being said, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video and hope to see you in the next one. And as always, if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'm always looking for more ideas. So comment anything else you feel like I could add to this, even if it's just some like small little things here and there, that'd be uh, that'd be awesome to hear you guys input on that. So yeah, until next time, have a good one. Bye.